Right, I tell you, this is an amazing thing. Today, on the way to Northampton, I said to um, Bran and Alberta, I'm going to, today if I get lost, I'm going to ask Simon Sintness. Anyway, I did really well. I didn't get lost. I managed to get all the way to Northampton, but I knew it would be difficult once I got here. And it was, mainly because it's high-rise car parks. They don't let camper vans in with the aerial and all that sticking up. So anyway, I took, it must have been about a quarter of an hour. I was wandering about, trying to find somewhere to park. You know, it was like I was going round and round, not knowing where I was. I was you know, I didn't know, I didn't know where I was. I was just... In the end, I just caught sight. I came out of a little side road, caught sight of a little car park. And I thought, right, go in there. I, and then I thought, oh, I bet it's only short term. Won't be able to park for long. First of all, I went up another road and that was a barrier down so you couldn't get in. And then I came across a little car park. Right. Came across a little car park. It's only small, I hold about 20, 30 cars and vans. Eight pound for the whole day, which is fair enough. It was 10 pound in a hotel, but I didn't know whether I'd be allowed to park there in the hotel. Do you know what I mean? So I wasn't a resident or anything or a visitor. So I came out of there. I thought, oh no, don't risk it. You might get a hundred pound fine or something. Anyway, I just, I parked up in this little car park got my breath, found some change then I looked through the railings and I saw this church now I'd seen a picture of this church with the rounded bit and then I thought that's the church of the Holy Scepter I'm just going to read this out the church of the Holy Scepter is the best preserved of only four remaining circular churches in England, built by returning crusaders on the model of Jerusalem's Holy Scepter Church. It was begun in 1100 by Simon St. Les, my 24th great-grandfather who married Matilda. That was her first husband. He was the first Norman Earl of Northampton, probably in thanks for the success of the First Crusade and his own safe return. It originally consisted only of a circular nave and a small chancel. A North Chapel was added around 1200 and the tower in the 15th century. The building was further enlarged to its present form in the 1860s, placed by Northampton Borough Council in 1988. Now, isn't that amazing? I actually asked this saint for guidance to get me to a car park, right? I know it sounds ridiculous, but he made me go round and round the town until I actually found it. So, I see that as a flipping miracle, I do. I see that as a miracle. In my eyes, that's a miracle, you know? Because earlier I'd said, if I get lost, will you help me? And I did get lost. <laughs> oh dear, there you go. Simon, help me. It's not, on, it's not on the tape when I was driving along that I said that, but that's what I said. I carry brandy and her ashes with me. And Alberta's my van. She was getting stressed out. She needed to blew a gasket when we couldn't find somewhere. <laughs> oh, goodness. I am so pleased to find this place. There's actually a car park here. But sometimes they don't like you parking for long. But um, Alberta is now parked in the little car park. Obviously, safety's a concern with it being a city. I've locked her up as best I can. Um, I have seen traffic wardens going around, car park attendants. He'll probably be going over to check my van. I've put the £8 ticket on there. And before I go into the church, I just want to take a breath of fresh air. I'm just going to walk around the churchyard a bit. <sighs> because, you know, to be quite honest, I... I've seen it as a type of miracle, I'm sorry, but, but I have. 
because it's weird because I never knew when I entered that little car park that this church was here I wasn't looking for a church I was looking for anywhere I could park anywhere I video back here so I can get some views from back here and that's what happened so there we are that's my ancestor calling me to Northampton he was the first Earl of Northampton by the way the very first one and his wife Matilda of Huntington she became Countess of Huntington but she was also obviously tied up with the Earldom of Northampton as well so there we've got this gorgeous church look this was built by my 24th great-grandfather Simon St. Les the Norman the Crusader he built this he styled it on the one in Jerusalem which I've also been in by the way but of course that was many years ago about 46 years ago I didn't I only had a small camera which didn't I only had we only had 27 shots you had to be I didn't take any I didn't take any of the church or anything like that I wouldn't like now with mobiles and you can flick away there's my old bird resting bless her she's resting oh that was trauma but there we go we've got this lovely church and there's some blue sky today so I'm really pleased I feel so happy now I was getting a bit stressed I was stressed yesterday with getting lost I won't have a sat nav thing I always get a bit stressed it's normal when you're trying to find your way out of places you've never been to in your life and not only that you, it's not just like you're plottering along you've got people going at 60 miles an hour up your ass excuse the expression they're not expecting you not to know where to go and they're you know they want you to get out of the way and you're trying to find follow signs so yeah it's hard driving these days for anyone I think they all have their sat navs and they just are ruled by them I use maps and I, I put down basic guidelines this is what I did today I followed five basic guidelines to get to Northampton you don't want too much information and it got me here but now the problem will be getting me out I'll study the map intently later right I'm going to take some photos now of this beautiful church and I'm hoping I can get in over and out